I'll be going through section B of your chapter 13 worksheet. I've already marked all your answers that you've submitted to the Google Classroom. I must say that I'm a bit disappointed because I gave very clear instructions as to how you should name your file, but there are still many students who didn't name it appropriately. Okay, so please make sure you follow instructions properly. It's not very difficult to upload it. If you have issues, you can just ask your friends who are already able to upload it. I've already gone through this question, question three. And some of you submitted the wrong page. Okay, you submitted this page. So this is not the page that I wanted you to submit. I didn't go through the last part of this question. Okay, so just take note if I want to calculate the cost of the energy consumption of the hairdryer, just multiply by 50 cents. And make sure you express your answers to three significant figures. So this question is a challenging question. I think many people didn't do well for it. You are able to get this correct. Okay, tell me it's a live and neutral wire. I'm not sure why some people only told me one wire when the question specifically asked for two wires. And some people just said a color. Oh, the wire should be yellow. I didn't even teach you about yellow wire. Okay, yellow or brown. Wrong, huh? So this one can get one mark. And the reason why, you must explain why I choose these two wires and why don't I need to choose the earth wire. Okay? So you have to look at information from the question. Some of you were able to get it correct. Yeah, it's because it has double insulation, meaning that there's already plastic surrounding the metal wire. Okay, so there's no chance of the live wire touching the metal casing of the electrical appliance. Please do your corrections, even though I gave you the mark, so you learn how to structure your answers properly. For the next question, this is the three pin plug that I showed you before. So explain why it's important that wire Y, wire Y is the, the earth wire. Okay, this wire is green and yellow in color. Why is it connected to the metal case of the washing machine? So your answer has to have two points. Okay, some of you only gave me one point. So you obviously get maximum one mark only. So it's to prevent electrocution. Remember, this is one of the safety features. Okay, by offering an alternative pathway of lower resistance. So it would direct the current to the ground. And like I always said, current always chooses to flow through the path of lowest resistance. So it will choose to flow through the earth wire instead of flowing through you if you were to accidentally touch the metal case of the washing machine. Question B. This was either very well done or very badly done. So let's look at the question. Okay, but before we look at it, can you please write out the formula? Some of you use the wrong formula, then you end up multiplying wrongly or dividing when you are not supposed to be dividing. Okay. Amount of electrical energy equals to power times time. You can draw the triangle if it's more helpful. And remember, for household electricity, we always make sure we convert to kilowatt. And then we multiply by kilowatt hour. So first step is easy. Okay, how to find the energy? I just take power times time. So I multiply, I will get 125 kilowatt hour. All right, some of you have a different sequence of doing your working, it's fine. I'll still give you the mark if your answer makes sense. Most of you lost marks because you didn't read the question. It says it's for 30 days. Okay, so you skip this step, then it's straight away multiplied by 0 0.30, then you get a wrong answer. Okay, so please read the question correctly. So to calculate the energy consumed, I just need to multiply by 30 days because what I calculated 
is only for every day because every day is 2.5 hours. So the first step here is only telling you how much energy is being used every day for 2.5 hours. Whereas this one tells you how much energy is being used for 30 days. Yeah. So the cost, you just need to multiply by 30 cents. Because it's for one kilowatt hour. Careless mistakes that people make, you forget to convert to a kilowatt. So you will do every day in watts, then you realize, how come my answer is such a big number? Okay, your electricity bill normally won't be a few thousands or hundreds of dollars. One. All right? So please check your work. You can check in the Google Classroom. I've already returned your assignments and I've marked it as well. So figure 5.1 shows a torchlight powered by two batteries. Describe how electricity causes the light bulb to light up when the torchlight is switched on. So please make it a habit to say current flows. Okay, don't tell me electricity flows. Electricity is just a general uh, term to describe all these, okay? So you will say the current flows through the filament. Don't just tell me through the bulb. Okay, to be specific, tell me that flows through the filament of the bulb and then it will heat up, causing the bulb to light up or causing the wire to glow. Most of your answers are too general. You just tell me when I press the switch, there's a closed circuit, therefore the light bulb lights up. Or you say when the switch is on, current flows through the circuit, therefore the bulb lights up. You're not even describing what really happens. All right, so you have to give me more details in your answer. It cannot be so general. In figure 5.1 above, draw arrows on the dotted lines to show the direction of a conventional current. So we already know that this is what is being um, thought about many years. Many people thought it was from the positive end to the negative end, which is not true. La. Electron flow is the correct one. But I ask you to show the conventional current. So you must show me from the positive end of the battery. Okay, follow my mouse. And flows through the wire towards the negative end. So your arrow must be in this way. Some of you didn't even see the question. I don't know why. Then you left it blank. In the space below, draw a circuit diagram to represent the electrical circuit. This is a circuit diagram. Okay, I have students who I'm going to just draw this whole torchlight again. I don't know why. Because there's no point in me asking you to just copy and paste a diagram that I've already given to you. Okay? So go and learn what's a circuit diagram. Learn the symbols properly. You cannot just copy the direction here. Okay? Like here is very small. That's why I put a small part facing the light bulb. Some people put a shorter end facing the light bulb. But we learned that the longer end represents the positive end of the battery. So please make sure your directions are correct. Okay, light bulb, make the X touching the sides of the circle. Some of you draw a tiny X in the center. That's wrong. Right? And for your switch, I need to see these two circles here. Okay, you cannot just leave it empty and just draw a line like that. You're not required to write down battery, light bulb, or switch. Just need to make sure the circuit diagram symbols are correct. Okay. So I've already completed this whole worksheet. If there's any other questions, please let me know. Okay. Thank you.